has a Bosch injector out of a 91 Dodge Ram 12 valve Cummins. Um, so I'll show you how to rebuild these, but basically every mechanical injector will be the same. Uh, it'll have a, a nozzle, a cap to hold it to the actual injector, and then here is a spring that actually allows the injector to pop. So to take it apart, remove the cap. And we saw that this one was leaking under pressure, so it's probably smoking and not doing a complete burn. So you've got a cap, nozzle body with the tip inside that, a little spacer plate, then a little cap, then a spring, and there should be some shims back there. If there's not, I guess it was popping at the right pressure. The injector actually says right on it, 245 bar. So what's happening when you're spraying diesel is there's a spring that pushes on this nozzle and there's about a thousandth clearance all the way around. The injection pump sprays the fuel beside the injector nozzle and it actually hits this part of the injector right there, just that little lip and the pressure is enough to overcome the spring and lift the nozzle off the seat. When that happens is you've got holes and the diesel will spray out. As soon as it relieves that fuel pressure, the spring pushes the nozzle back down again and closes it. So this is no good. So we've ordered a, a new one from, uh, from Bosch, going original equipment. Look at that, all shiny and new. Just gonna lube that up. There we go. Now to increase or decrease pressure on this type of injector to make a pop at a higher PSI, you have to add shims to the back of this. Um, I know the Perkins injectors, they would have uh, an actual uh, adjustment on it. You can just tighten it. It's, a, it's another cap. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a Perkins, but um, you can tighten that and actually increase the, spre the, the pressure on it. So we're gonna clean all these parts and then reassemble. Okay, so if you had shims, you would put the shims in, put the spring in, put this little doodad in with the hollow point up, then line up your hole with the hole in the injector, with the indent facing down, there we go, you really can only put it on one way, then you put your tip on. And then your cap. And then tighten your cap to about 50 foot pounds. All right, nice spray pattern, no dribbling, no leak down. Beautiful, you got a good injector. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see next week on DeBoss Garage. If you like what you see, there's a lot of stuff happening to help support the channel. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.